Premium A Plus content is really cool. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to build it. We're actually gonna watch my own designer build my very first premium A plus content on Amazon. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the end result. What's really cool about this is just see how gigantic it is. We're talking horizontally very wide, right? It just takes up so much space. And here you can see all the various things. You can click on different buttons like this. This doesn't exist in regular A plus content. Big, big, wide images, taking up lots of space. And what's really cool, you can include a video straight in to the A plus content. My wife shot this, and this is us doing the unboxing for our mom box like this. So just imagine consumers being able to see the video in full format right in the middle of the page. Just, just think about the conversion elements and the importance of video and how much more important it's going to be as time goes on. All right. So let's go over to my current page and check this out. So I'm going to go down to my mom box like this. That's my Age of Sage storefront. And in here, we're going to scroll down and see, oh my gosh, it's already live. It's brand new and live. So this is my new A plus content. I've got my designer video. I just downloaded it. We're going to play that in a second so you can watch how we made it. And, and so here's what it actually is seen by consumers right now. If you go to my storefront, amazon.com slash Age of Sage, click on the mom box, you'll be able to see it. So this is one of my best selling products of all time. I've sold hundreds of thousands of dollars um, for this item and we retail it for 50 bucks. <clears throat> so, all right, so here's the brand story. If you don't have the brand story yet, guess what? You can't build premium A plus content yet. This is also free and premium A plus content, relatively brand spanking new for consumers to get this, it used to cost a quarter million dollars in annual fees that you had to pay. But to qualify for premium A plus content, you must have the brand story published on your content and you have to produce 15 A plus contents in the last 12 months. At, every, at the end of every month, they will retally this to see if you qualify. So if you wanna rush right now and get those 15 A plus contents submitted, make sure the brand story is on all the pages, you can get access to this. So compare how big this is to one of my other products, which we don't have A plus content on, um, premium that is, and we're working on it. So this is one of my men's soap products and I scroll down. So here is non-premium A plus content compared to that. Big, big difference, the width of the imagery and whatnot. So cool things you can do with A plus content. You can still do the product grid, compare and contrast products like this. All of those things are good and normal things. But what's really cool, I just can't emphasize this enough, is how awesome it is to have the video, the video straight in the page content. Now the goal of A plus content is to do two things. It's to grow traffic to the listing. That's the first and primary framework. The second is to convert people. And in many instances, part of your conversion element is to just simply be defensive. You're trying to take up as much vertical space as possible because what happens when they scroll down? We see our competitor ads and nobody wants to spend all this advertising dollars, bring them to your page for them to just simply scroll down and click on one of these other products. So that's why we take up so much space with A plus content. You also wanna make sure you have lots of text, crawlable text in your A plus content as much as possible. We're probably on the low side on this particular uh, design. We're gonna probably increase some of the content, right? Cause this text inside of the image, as beautiful as it is, does not help support your, your uh, SEO elements. And A plus content is super, super important for traffic generation. A plus content does index. All right, so as I promised, we're gonna take a look and watch my designer do this. So this was made today by one of our top designers. So here is the original A plus content and they're grabbing all the assets uh, and this should be sped up so we can kind of glance through this and take a leak. All right, so in VLC, I'm gonna speed this up. So I'm going to the playback, going to speed, hitting faster. Now we're at eight times speed and hitting the play button. And so you guys can really just see this as quick as possible, how the designer goes in, see how they're adjusting the color scale here, the gradients, and they're taking the video right now. They're starting with that. See how they're flashing things back and forth. And uh, I think I think eight times speed is gonna be good for this. See how we're, we're kind of cranking through the, the video format here. 
Uh, let's go a little bit, tiny bit faster. Let's see what this looks like. So 16 times speed. All right, now we're really cranking through. Maybe I'll slow it down on a key moment or two. So in here, uh, the designer is going around. I haven't watched this before. This is my hot take. They're looking at the old A plus content. This is gonna be what's typically common is that since you now have access to premium A plus content for the first time, you're gonna take the old design and you're gonna rework it and shift it into a new design format. See how she, she basically photoshopped out the old products, put it into a new wider format, took the PSDs and basically resized and said, okay, what could work here? Let me take another design where it looks really nice. We're taking my fabulous box, my mom box, and just kind of contrasting and moving around products. So you can see there, here it looks when you see the products coming in and out, the mom special gift box. And we've got Aegis Age and Momster for my two brand names. Um, Aegis Age is kind of the primary brand for this particular data set, but we kind of cross promote the Momster element because this is a mom box. It kind of makes sense, right? So what's included in all of this, you've got the um, the lotion, the the tumbler, the card, and the soaps, as well as the, um, the the bath bomb. And so all of these elements need to be showcased appropriately on the product. I've got my two co-hosts here, my two sons. They're a little camera shy. They're kind of sticking out on the right-hand side over here. Um, and they're watching me as we watch the designer here. So we're taking um, one of the lifestyle images. And yes, Bruce, waving at the camera. All right. <laughs> So now we're looking at Shutterstock. What's available in Shutterstock to help us out? And uh, we'll, we probably need to slow this down a little bit. So we're going to go to the playback speed here. And let's pause. I'm going to take the speed. And we're going to go We're gonna go slower. So now we're at 8 times speed. And we're going to go one more slower. Now we're at 4 times speed. All right. So in here, we're looking at the drive right now, pulling out some assets. Uh, and just kind of pulling in and, and going back and forth to see what makes the most sense. So we got all these different products under the brand, pulling in images from various sources. And let's see what she's gonna do next. Uh, so now we're looking at the secondary images to see like, okay, can we can we borrow some content and some concepts from another? So she's she's crip, uh, cropping out right now. You see, see the magic wand there kind of going around the box. I think she's gonna snap that out and take it over to another area. Let's see what she does. Uh, She's kind of poking around a little bit. All right, let's go back up to the speed. We're going to speed this back up a little bit. Let's go eight times speed now. She was kind of cranking through a bunch of assets. It was hard to follow at 16 there a second ago. Um, so still kind of just cropping this out. Let's let's go a little bit faster. We're going to go playback speed. Going to go 16 times again. And we'll see what happens here. So we've got all kinds of Shutterstock images looking at our current image set and seeing what makes the most sense to, to grab and build into premium A-plus content. So we know that premium A plus content takes up more wide space, more vertical modules available, and the inclusion of a video. So these are all th great beneficial things that's gonna increase your opportunities. Don't forget, you can put alt text behind each photo. And if you're doing, uh, you know, taking a good design and trying to take it from good and make it better, you can just copy over those alt text keywords from your previous one. If you need to do some SEO research, you should watch my video on how to do SEO. I've got a lot of great resources at myamazonguy.com slash SEO. We give out our free SEO phase one guide. You can see a bunch of that great stuff. Um, so you can see we're grabbing different sh Shutterstock uh, photos, kind of gonna combine those in with our old assets from our regular A plus content or regular EBC. Uh, all right, kids have, kids have left. They, they think it's boring watching the designer here. They've waved and said goodbye. They're going to bed, they're in pajamas. Uh, so now we're taking all of these images. So this was the uh, module comparison uh, with kind of some text. I think this is one of the weaker modules in the original A plus content. I think the premium version of this looks significantly stronger. So I think it's a really big upgrade when we see kind of the, the before and after contrast. So if that was the before, let me pause this for a second and go look at the after and pull up over here. So I think, so this... Let's see, it's probably not gonna show on this old actually. All right, we'll keep playing here. And <clears throat> so you saw the old, oh, we're gonna show the new, that's right. So stand by a second here. So the new version, if we scroll down, looks like this. And this is significantly stronger versus that old version that we were seeing. Probably need a little bit more text in there, a little light on that. But this is the old, this is the new. And you can see it just looks a lot nicer versus clicking on the photo versus clicking on the CTA. So that's a very big upgrade 
um, that you get from that. And you can click on different various modules there. All right, so let's go back to the designer. We're about, I don't know, 75% of the way through. Uh, lots going on here. Probably need to slow this one down. Let's go up to the playback and slow that back down to eight. Oh, that's 15 times speed. Jeez, speed. And let's go eight times speed. Perfect. So in here, uh, copy and pasting a bunch of the, the design work, some of the titles, some of the headlines, and next to the images. So we get all that nice, beautiful text that accompanies the SEO value. A plus content totally indexes. Uh, and that's really important to get the keywords in there. <laughs> and we got the, we got the Bruce, and the, the, the crew doing the back and forth chairs in the background. <laughs> Uh, sometimes you got to sneak in a video shoot during bedtime. It just happens. It just, and the kids don't want to brush their teeth and go to bed. All right. So we've got all these assets. Can you believe that guys? We have 1100 assets in our asset library through all the A plus content. What's really nice is that you can tag these for future use, right? So one of the biggest questions I get with premium A plus content is like, what if they try and charge me for this at a later point? I really don't think that's a big deal. Uh, they're not going to, they're not, no way they're going to try and charge a quarter million dollars again, right? Like they, that ship has sailed. Uh, but what they probably will do is charge a couple grand or something like that. But who cares? Like this is going to be free for six to 12 months. That's my prediction. And then if they do start charging for it, you can you have a copy of your old modules. You can just go back to the old. So take advantage, invest in the premium. It's going to set your brand apart. It's going to increase your conversion rate. You're going to have access to a bunch of new modules. You're going to you're going to have more traffic coming to the listing. People are going to pay attention to it, right? And so here you can see all of the different uh, headers and texts. We're trying to play around with this. Uh, it's kind of fun watching the designer today. Uh, they were they were gracious enough to let me record. Uh, they recorded it on their side uh, all of the work that they did on this premium A plus content because I get lots of questions about A plus, premium A plus content. Uh, we do offer this to our clients at my Amazon guy. It is a higher premium package, uh, so we do we do charge a little extra fee if you're one of my clients and you're wondering why we do that because uh, it does take more work on our part, but it is going to make a significant lift. So if you're wondering what you should focus on in 2022, premium A plus content should make your top five lists for sure. Absolutely. All right, guys, you got to, you got to settle down just a tiny bit. Um, all right. So that's the, that's the video from the, from the designer. All right. So the last thing I'm going to show you is how to go build this and actually physically load into the modules. So I'm over in seller central, put your cursor over advertising, go to the A plus content manager in here. You're going to have a note. Either it says, coming soon in beta, or it's going to say, congratulations, you have access. If you have the congratulations, you also might have received an email. In my particular case, this showed up on Seller Central first. I have yet to get the email, and it's been about 24 hours since we got access to this. So we rushed out, tried to get something built just to see what it looks like. So you can learn more about Premium A Plus content by clicking that. But when you go to the Start Creating, uh, if you don't have access, you won't see this module here. If you do have access, you'll see the basic, the premium, and the brand story. And again, if you haven't put your brand stories up, this is critical, must do, must have. Get that in place first. Build out at least 15 A-plus contents to get access to this premium module. Now, when you go to create it, the basic and the premium is going to look very different. And so first thing you're going to do is click on this add module. You'll notice that the the dog options here, and if, by the way, if you're wondering, yes, Amazon is obsessed with dogs. Uh, they actually have photo shoots for dog employees with like six month waiting lists. Uh, and, and they've done this for like, they have, they've had like 6,500 dog photo shoots. I'm not making that stat up. That is a real stat. And so when you go in here, you're going to see all these dog photos, premium background with images. Um, by the way, if you want to see their random uh, dogs that they have, you can just type in amazon.com slash whatever, and you can trigger these different things. So sorry, we couldn't find that page. Try going to Amazon's homepage, right? So they name them Pixel and Serif. These are the real dog names. These are real actual dogs and their names from employees. So you can see I, I can trigger lots and lots of different ones. It's kind of fun, actually. All right, so in here, in the modules, premium background image with text, premium comparison table. This is what I think my design needs to build next, the premium comparison table. And so when you see this, see how much wider it is. The, the metrics, you can use 12 metrics in here. One of the best ways to get those extra keywords in is to add in 
uh, different texts and options right here. So if we have checkboxes, so you could put a metric in here. So for example, if I'm really trying to rank for a particular keyword, I would add the metric in right there. Um, so let's go to one of my past designs where I have the product grid up. So gift box, if this is a keyword that's really important to you, you could put it here in the check marks like that. Another thing is if you're trying to get your sense, something like this, these scents can be uh, keywords that you also want to have across multiple products or maybe artisan soap. So see how I have the word artisan soap repeated several different times in the product grid. This increases the density of the keyword and its importance on a listing. Um, now, some people wonder, do I need to have the same keyword multiple times to index for SEO? The answer to that question is no, you don't need the same keyword multiple times to index. So in phase one, we have four phases at my Amazon guy, SEO phase one, it's about indexing. So if we go to myamazonguy.com slash SEO, you can see a bunch of our master classes. You're going to want to watch this video. You can download our SEO phase one guide. Phase two, it's about incremental indexing. You're going to swap out some keywords. Uh, we have all the timestamps, all the SEO phases like listed out here. We like to call SEO phase uh, two, like the pink word update. They did get rid of this module, however, in brand analytics. SEO phase three, this is the strike zone keywords. You're going to focus on keywords ranks 20 through 50. At three, phase three, the strike zone update, this is when you want to increase your SEO density. This is why having the same keyword repeated in the listing makes a lot of sense. Just to tie this in and how this is affected, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at uh, Helium 10 next, just so I can show you this. So I'm going to go over there. Uh, my keyword module is not populating, so I'm going to go over to Helium 10. I'm going to log in over here. And so we're populating the Cerebro data. And what I'm gonna do, this is for my SOAP listing. I'm gonna take keywords in organic rank 20 through 50 and hit apply filters. Uh, Bruce is sneaking some nerds. They, they poured some nerds out of my desk. He's sneaking them on the side here. So I've got 1,900 sponsored keywords, 32 organic, 3 to 200 organic, right? Pretty close to my one to two golden keyword ratio, which is good. You wanna have twice as many organic keywords that you have sponsored in general. Um, it's not possible in every category and every listing, but if you're neck and neck one-to-one, -one, you absolutely are underdeveloped on SEO. You don't have enough crawlable text on your A-plus content, which is why you need to get that premium A-plus content built. So <clears throat> if I was going to look at the strikes on keywords, I'd look at rank 20 through 50. So gift soap, I am in rank 20 for gift soap. So if I wanted to really increase my rankings here, I'd go down to my A-plus content and I would put gift soap, just like I have gift box, gift soap would be a keyword right here. So if we were going to go through here and it, it, exactly, this is actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to send this out to my team. I'm going to take a little picture here and I'm going to say, Hey, I want to have the word gift soap showing up on these four right here. And, and so I want, I want them to write in gift soap instead of the checkbox. That's going to get me four extra keywords on every ASIN. I have more than 30 ASINs with soap on them. 30 times four, that's the number of times I'm going to have the keyword show up. I pretty much guarantee you I'm going to move from keyword rank 20 to rank 10 or better within six weeks. And I'll shoot an update video uh, when we do that and pull that off. If I forget, add a comment to the video, remind me, I'll get that shot. But essentially, this is exactly what you would do to increase your density during SEO phase three and why it's so important. All right. So if we go Back over to the premium A plus content, you can see that module there. Uh, these images, 200 by 225, sometimes a little hard to get them to shape that way, um, but it's easier than the skinny ones in the previous regular A plus content, in my opinion. So you've got premium, uh, premium table comparison shots, uh, different versions. You got the premium full video, so you can load a video in, which is really nice. Uh, kids are putting their hands in my pockets right now. It's really weird and combodulating to try and shoot a video while they're doing that. <laughs> Doesn't it feel like this as a business owner, right? You're like trying to get your normal things done during the day and you have all of these distractions and all of these different priorities and you're like, well, I just got to focus. Got to put down slack for a moment. Uh, by the way, one of my favorite business books is The Road Less Stupid and it's all about scheduling and thinking time. Um, so choose the right dog for your family. Uh, that's a really interesting one. Premium Q&A. Oh, by the way, we shot a video recently on how to shoot videos to answer the Q&A. So let's go back to my listing here. Um, I have several of these published. So here you can see where is the box made. Video was submitted. 
it's live. I actually submitted a video on several other questions. For whatever reason, those aren't live yet. I don't know why I need to check in on that. Um, but it's really cool because like now you can like l answer a question just showing the video just like that, load it in. Um, so that's really cool. I don't know if I would do premium Q&A on the premium A plus content. I'm not 100% sure. But if you have a really technical product, especially if technology, you got lots of returns, what a great place to do that. You got your Q, you got your A, your question and your answer, all that good stuff. Um, the, the carousel right here, this is, I think, what we put on ours. Uh, so if we go over to the listing in question, uh, I think this is the premium carousel. That looks really nice, doesn't it? And you got like these nice CTA buttons up at the top there. Uh, so let's go over in here. Let's click on a different module. So we got comparison chart. We did that one. Dual image with text. We've got a couple of those. Four image with text. Um, premium full image. That's what this translates to right here. This is the gigantic photo. So let's look at the pixels on that. So if we load that into, uh, here's my guide on brand story, by the way. So if you want to check that out, we do have this on my website as well. If you're curious, go click on my uh, A plus content. Uh, so what's the modules on this? 1500 by 22. Let's see if I hit well, the copy and paste ain't doing so good in the Irfan right now. So let's look at the module. Come over here. So premium full image. What is the pixels? 1,400 by 600. That actually seems small, to be honest. I thought it would be bigger than that. Uh, but 1,400 wide, 600 tall. I think that's what that indicates. Uh, so you can see the size of that. That's it. Everyone should be using one or more premium full image for sure. Uh, premium full video absolutely should be used every single time because most listings don't have the video on their listing. You're going to set yourself apart by showing the video. So if, so if there's three modules that every single premium A plus content needs to have, it's one premium full image, one full video, and one comparison table. I think the other four slots could be rotated to whatever best fits your product. Some of those products are going to be good with a carousel. Others are going to be good with text definitions or Q&A if you're premium, stuff like that. Um, looks like you can have multiple videos too. Check out the carousel option with multiple videos and a carousel right there. Premium video with text. Wow. Okay. I didn't even know that one existed until now. So you can also have a video right next to text. I do think though that having a really big video like this is probably more impactful than showing a video plus text or video carousel. Uh, but if you do have multiple videos, I probably would go the carousel, uh, in my opinion. So lots of different options, premium comparison table three. So there's just a lot of different ways to compare and contrast your product. I'm a really big fan of the profit who does a show. It's kind of like, it's like one of those guys off shark tank, except a little bit nicer. And they go in, they buy these businesses. One of my favorite, uh, profit episodes is the drumming episode. I think it's in season two. And what they, what he did is he went in there and established a good, a better and a best drum set because uh, the personalization of that particular product line was so vast, the consumers were overwhelmed. They couldn't choose the product. So doing a good, better, best module allowed them to simplify the business module. And that's exactly what these modules here do. They allow you to do good, better, best, compare and contrast. What's the difference between your product? Why would I buy this dog versus this dog? right? And you can A-B test some, some comparison grids and stuff like that. What's going to be really interesting is to see if I could set up a premium A-plus content, A-plus content uh, A-B test versus another. So if you go over to A-B testing here, uh, let's see, some of your ASINs may qualify. So where is the module to do A-B testing? So I see the learn more, create A-B test. Is that the button? Okay, here we go. So start a reference ASIN. And what I'm curious is, could we do an A-B test of a premium versus a regular? So let's see if we can figure this out together. So select a, re a reference ASIN. We wanna select this one right here. Okay, so now the question is, is can I have, uh, let's see, gift box, so ASINs associated. So here's my A plus content, here's the premium. Select my B version. And let's do Mother's Day box. Let's see if, how does that look? Okay, so here's the, oh, this is really cool. I didn't, I didn't think it was gonna be this intuitive, but check it out. So here is the premium A plus content on the left. And here is my old original content on the right. Now, obviously the premium is gonna win, but I, I really do miss having the, 
product grid. So I, I think I think that's kind of a, just a designer choice on my part. I, I think the product grid is really important for average order value and stuff like that. Um, all right, so if we set up an A-B test like this, A-B test name, premium content versus non-premium. Duration, I want to go as short as possible because I know which one's going to win. It's going to be premium. And then hypothesis, premium content wins by 20%. That's just my take. I think it's going to be a slam dunk. And then we got the ASIN. What's group by style? Nope, that's fine. Uh, might be as simple as that. I just have to have two A plus contents on the back end and then select which one uh, is going to do better and then hit submit A-B test. Let's see if this works. can take up to eight, seven days for moderation. I don't know why you need to moderate an A-B test if it's freaking two designs already approved by Amazon. That's stupid. Um, but this is exactly what I do, right? Like I would build your premium content and then I'd run an A-B test to see what the lift is. And I think it's going to be substantial. I, I honestly think it's going to be really substantial. And now I'm going to have the data to prove it. I'll have the scripts. And then you're going to be able to take my hypothesis that premium A plus content has a bigger impact and then go test it yourself to see if it works for you as well. Let me know how I did. I've got so many design videos. You can watch my designers make A plus content. You can watch us how we troubleshoot all the brand registry issues and the modules. Check out all these design playlists. Leave me a comment on a video that you want me to shoot or ask me literally any question live every Friday, noon Eastern Standard Time. Come back to the YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. Throw a like on it if you really like this video. And if you really want to help me out, write in premium A plus content to the comment section. That will help me rank with the YouTube algorithm. Appreciate it in advance. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys later.